Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey there, happy Friday. All right, just gonna do a bit of tech here and do a little bit of zooming. Sorry guys, let me just do a little adjustment. Whoops, wrong button. Good morning, everybody. How you going? All right. Okay. So I thought I would pop in on this semi-sunny Friday morning and do a little um, scrapbook page using Stencil Girl Stencils. Uh, Lindy's Gang Products and Morning Carrie Ann, Morning Pam um, and yeah create some a little quick little mess scrapbook page this morning to show you how quick and easy it can be to create a page so for those of you who have just tuned in um, the if you are seeing across the bottom of your screen uh, if you're on a device some words and comments etc just swipe those across and then you'll get my the whole picture um, so make life a lot easier but I'm just going to whip through and show you how to create a quick and easy scrapbook layout using a couple of products so as part of the great Australian craft show good morning Fiona Mwah to you um, as part of the great Australian craft show I am doing uh, two live Facebooks a day, so I'm going to be doing another one this afternoon, a little bit after 1.30 SA time, uh, and then a, a then two tomorrow and two Sunday. Um, I've got some fantastic specials that I've just put up on my Facebook page, uh, sorry, on my web page this morning, and um, there are daily specials every day. So, all right, enough talk from me. I'm just going to start making some pretty things here. So... I've got some Stencil Girl stencils here. I had a huge shipment arrive a couple of days ago and I'll have some more coming soon. The um, As a designer for Stencil Girl, I love to show you different ways of using their stencils. So this is the, so I think it's called, um, actually I've got no idea what it's called. Um, but anyway, so these are currently 15% off online and this is one of the designs that came in this week. This is probably, as you can tell, one of my most used stencils. It is caked with paint, um, but still works just fine. And I've also got the building stencil. This is another one, as you can tell, is a very, very well used stencil. Got lots and lots of love on that one. And then I'm also going to be using this little guy as well. So I think it's called like the corrugated lines or fractured, fractured lines or something along those lines. Um, so I'm going to be using Lindy's Gang products to create a scrapbook page. I've got a photo of um, my lovely friend Vicky and I taken, I don't know, 18 months ago or so when the world was normal. Um, and I'm going to orientate that probably smack bang in the middle of my page. So I've got a bit of an idea on what sort of project I'm going to create here. Um, the Good morning, Wendy. Um, the layout that I'm going to do is a similar design to one that I created for uh, Stencil Girl a little while ago. So I'm going to whip through and create that page. So the background I'm using, I'm using Marshmallow Cardstock. It is my favourite mixed media cardstock. It's a little bit heavier than some other brands, um, some other designs uh, of, of paper but this is a really heavyweight cardstock and I'm just going to jump right in. So I have got here some Lindy's Gang sprays. 
So these are the pigment dye based spray. Okay, my screen's frozen, but that's okay. Um, oh, now I'm back. So the um, so the flat Fabio. So what this means is. So no shimmer means exactly that. Um, nice, flat, beautiful colours. I'm going to be um, using them in a couple of different ways on my page. And I'm going to be stamping with them and spraying with them. So I'm going to start off with the building stencil. Um, like I mentioned, this is probably one of my favourites. And I'm going to mask off this side. Um, Sorry, I'm, my internet's a bit crappy in here today. I don't quite know what's going on. Um, because it's a bit windy and um, rainy outside, I'm suspecting that that is the, the problem. Anyway, so I'm just going to trudge, keep going on. Um, all right, so what I've got here is some paper towel, and I'm going to mask off one side of my page. I don't want... The color to go everywhere so I don't want to color my entire page so I'm going on with the Lindy's hibiscus rose and I'm going to give it a light spray in this area here so I'm just going to go straight in now you can see my background I've got a, um, a puppy training pad here to catch any excess just to keep my area clean um, so I'm just going to go straight in and give it a light misting in that section and then I'm going to grab a piece of my roller paper towel and just roll straight over the top and that's going to take off any excess and also help dry it quicker so there we go and I'm going to do the same thing on this side but this time I'm just going to use a little bit less and I want a little bit less of this pattern on here so I'm going to mask off again like so in a super technical way like that and like that and then just give that a light a light spray I don't want it super heavy I want it to be a real light pink mist so that that just involves doing a quite a light pump of the spray all right so that is done so you can see that that looks okay the next thing I want to do is I want to use this stencil but use it as a stamp so I want to add some yellow spray to this and then I'm going to turn it over and smush it straight down onto my page in the middle so in order to do that I need to move my layout out of the way and I need to give this a really good spray on one side. All right, so I've got Pineapple Paradise and I'm really giving it quite a generous amount of color, as you can see. Now I'm gonna pick that up, pop that off to the side. I just threw my layout somewhere. And now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to stamp with it. So because I don't want it to go absolutely everywhere, I'm going to mask off a little area and gently just lay it down and just push it straight down onto my page. So you can see that I'm holding up the edges. That's because I put so much spray on that I totally drowned it and I don't want straight lines showing on my edges yeah baby look at that and I'll put a little bit down the bottom as well yeah there we go and I might just pop a little bit I'm just gonna wipe off some excess off the side here and I've still got plenty of color on here but I could if I wanted to add a little bit more spray oh shit oh look at that I dropped it and I swore sorry <laughs> um, okay so now I'm just squishing my stencil oh yeah look at that 
and adding a little yellow around my page. So it almost looks quite fluorescent. It looks really very, very cool. All right, throw that stencil off to the side. Okay, so I'm on the right track here. I've created a quick and simple, easy background. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a few other little elements um, and add some splatters of blue. So I've got a stamp here from Paper Rose and I'm going to add some stars around my page. So I'm going to, and I'm just going to use Distress Oxides for this actually. I'm thinking that that's going to work just fine. So I've got a huge range of Distress Oxides in store as most of you know, uh, and they are quite inexpensive, only 10 bucks each. Um, I've also, I had a couple of inquiries this morning from people chasing the new speckled egg distress oxide. Um, as far as I know, they are pretty much sold out Australia, well, my supplier, my wholesaler, um, they've sold out there. So uh, I have got a whole heap on order still. I did sell out of the first order, so currently don't have any in stock. I do believe I have a couple of the Distress Oxide refills in stock, but um, as for the actual ink pads themselves, sorry, I'm out. So I'm just stamping my oxide around the page and I'm lazy and clean it off on my hand. Um, and I'm gonna add a smaller stamp in another color. So all of the stamps online are currently 15% off this weekend. Uh, and so get on it, people. Okay, so now I've got peacock feathers and I'm just gonna add a few little stars in, in that color. Like so, got a bit of a pattern going, as you can see. Right, so that's done, that's done. Um, pop that little stamp away before I forget. So how is everybody going on this lovely Friday morning? Ready for a big weekend of, I guess, isolating. Some of us are still isolating. Um, I am gonna be here in front of my computer and under this camera for most of the weekend. So um, I'm looking forward to um, hanging out and doing quite a few more little demos. Okay, so here's my photo. Now my photo's got a lot of black and white in it. So Vicky is wearing a really bold, fabulous black top. So I need to add some black and give this layer a little bit of depth. So I've got an offcut here of one of the 13 Arts Transparencies. These are available online in the New Products for July section. So you can jump on and grab those. I tend to use them in parts. I don't wanna use this big heavy bit here. I want these cool little lines. So, um, and I'm gonna use this side. So sorry if you get a bit of sheen there, but um, I'm just going to be pretty, Brutal and just cut that down like so. I'm going to go across that line there and I'm going to cut off that little bit there. It just gives another little bit of an element going on underneath my photograph, and that's what I like about transparencies. They are really cool because you can, it looks like there's something there, but maybe there's not. So, pop a little there. And a bit more. A lot more. whack that there all right so that's working pretty good but yes I need to add some more black so the black is going to come in from doing a bit of doodling um, I'm going to be using the waterproof pilot drawing pen um, thanks Wendy um, the pilot drawing pen is my go-to because it is waterproof 
I haven't really decided what else I'm going to add to this page yet. So um, having a waterproof pen is going to be a, a massive saviour if I decide to add some more splatters or some more colour or something along those lines. So I'm just going to do a loose doodle scribble border to create a frame. Um, but it does need some black in it as well because black and white, as we know, add balance. So um, it's going to make a huge difference to the overall outcome. Uh, and as everyone loves to hear me repeat myself on this, we all want to make, make something that is visually appealing, something that looks pretty. It's all about the photograph and all about framing this photo, but I really want something on here that is pleasing to the eye as well. Okay, pen done. Uh, I might add a little bit of black splatter and perhaps a little blue splatter as well, but I might stick this down first. So instead of using foam tape, uh, like I showed you yesterday on yesterday's two lives, I did cards yesterday morning and what did we do in the afternoon? Oh, a scrapbook layout um, using Lindy's and Stencil Girl again. So I will uh, mount my photos in cardboard rather than foam tape. Um, it helps me recycle some of the cardboard boxes around the place uh, as well as adds a nice stable base to my photograph. Okay, so I'm gonna slide these little transparency bits in later. Pop my photo there, stuff it, that looks good. Uh, and then I'm going to find my glue, which I've put in a safe place apparently, but this one will do. And I'm gonna slide in my transparency pieces and get those babies in there. So that looks good there. And the glue dries clear, which is a bonus. It just adds these little white, these really cool little white elements in and around. I think that's got too much on it. Let's cut that bit off. I like that little half circle element that's coming out of the side there. And I'm gonna pop that one on the bottom. I've got a title that I wanna put on as well and I'm gonna run that probably on the top. And some other little black and white embellishments. So I've been using up a bit of my stash lately. I've got a bit of a, a junk drawer situation going on here with a whole heap of crap that I need to use. Uh, sorry, valuable craft supplies that I really need to um, crack into and use. Um, all right, so. What kind of businesses are you looking for? Oh my God, my phone's talking, my watch is talking to me. Stop it. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So, what am I gonna do with this one? I think I might add, instead of adding some splatters, I might just do a little bit of stamping with this guy. So even though I've stuck down those bits and I've changed my mind for like the 11th time, I'm gonna cover that up like so. And I've got a blue spray here. So I've got the Caribbean blue and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I did with the yellow and I'm going to spray it and then use it as a stamp. But I'm not gonna overdo it. So giving it a little squirt of color on there. Oh man, my internet sucks today. Sorry guys. Um, and now I'm just gonna stamp that on. So it's adding a little pop of blue. Oh yeah, baby. And I've got some still on, so I'm just gonna go up there and add it up there. I actually got the number of a guy this morning who's uh, like an IT guy, and I'm gonna see if I can somehow extend my Wi-Fi in my studio so that I don't have this problem with, the, um, with it going fluffy. Oh, now the doorbell. Oh, my well rocks. All right. Are you serious? Dude, I put a sign up saying I'm filming. 
God, I love life. Hey, okay, so whack that back down. So you can see those little pops of blue. Yeah, now we're getting there. I'm just going to ignore that doorbell and hope that they leave a parcel. Um, hashtag life, hey? All right, a few more blue splatters. So instead of um, using a paintbrush to splatter, I'm going to just take the nozzle out, give it a light tap. Yeah, baby. So you can see how that, um, that last stencil that I used created a stamp just just a touch of blue you don't have to use the whole thing and you don't have to follow the rules and use it exactly the way that um, you know it says on the instructions I guess uh, the next color I've got here is another flat color which is a the Lindy's flat with no shimmer and it's blazing black just straight black so all I'm going to do now is just a few light taps of black for that balance dun, dun, dun. so Lindy's are all 15% off this weekend 15% meaning 15% uh, off magicals and sprays <laughs> um, embossing powders magic the sets as well uh, and so there's a huge range there for you to see all right so that's looking good now I need to add a title uh, I've got this these words here which came out of the Coco Vanilla Legendary Titles Pack. Uh, I thought this would be kind of perfect actually. So because Vicky is a bit of a legend, like seriously, she's kind of cool. So I thought I would pop that there, this legend. And then I have also got some of the Flutterby Designs. These are the Mark Maker um, embellishments. I've still got a few of these left online, uh, and then this, and that's all there is left. I have no more after they. She won't be doing them, I do not think. So lovely little Australian company with a uh, who with some very very creative, amazing uh, designers, and I think that this is. These, these are just cool. And they also do the isolation cards. So I've got some of those back in. I showed you all those last week. Um, oh, look at that. There's the word creative. So maybe I could do this creative legend. That's a good idea. Um, what's that say? Life. Some pencils. All right. So there's some really awesome, brave, this brave legend. No, she's not brave. She's just, well, she is brave, but like, she doesn't need that in a title. Okay. Pop those aside. Back to this. So what I'm going to do is foam tape this down. So instead of using foam tape, I'm using the um, silicon silicon tape on the back here so the silicon tape, tape I've talked about this weekend and that is this clear rubbery silicon tape huh. and it has a bit of dimension it's probably I don't know three mils but what I like about this stuff is it's clear and it's like epic sticky epic sticky dude okay put that down you can tell that I'm happy it's Friday. How, how's, how good's my lingo this morning? I've been off and had my PT session. Worked up a bit of a sweat. Not much sweat this morning. I think I did more talking than I did actually exercising, but that's not unusual. Um, I'm going to pop that there. This. Maybe I'll put that there. Do I want creative in there? No, it's too big. This legend. Right, and then I've pulled out a whole pile of my alphabets that I've got. And I want to put another word down here. So um, I know that everybody has got a stash of this stuff. Because, like, seriously, we do. Um, 
been collecting it because you know we can't throw it out because you know we might need it one day uh, so I want to use some of these little elements on here the um, the commas and the spots and the stickies and the brackets uh, as oh look at that hardy swap love hardy swap I'm gonna use this bright blue I think so these are the Abigail stickers from Doodlebug and I reckon I've still got some available online as well um, so I'm just going to use the word, I've got to create a word here. I'm going to say rocks. Oh. And they're quite inexpensive. They're only like six bucks or eight bucks or something like that. So, hmm. so you, some of you may notice this morning uh, I put uh, some more things into the show special category on my website. So some bonus bits and pieces of the day um definitely some bargains there's some cocoa vanilla paper that i put in special the brand new uniquely creative bundle is also in there as well um plenty of uh things going in daily if you've already done an order and you want to order again just select pick up rather than paying for postage twice and then that way you will not have to pay postage, of course, but I will be posting on Monday and I will be collating all of the um, orders so you don't have to pay postage twice and you can save a couple of bucks there. So uh, if you want to do a second order, you can and I would be most grateful. I do appreciate everybody supporting my lovely little business uh, and I do work hard to... to stock what you guys want and come in and teach you something new show you how to use some things and some bits and pieces um okay so i'm going to put a couple of extra little spots around my page so there's these little stars here asterisks right up there uh hopefully hopefully over the weekend i will also be releasing my next online class my, I'm going to be doing another art journal, another uh, art journal class coming up online soon. And I, the cool thing about it is, is you can access it at any time. I also have a few already that I've done online, so you can jump up, jump in and, and join in on those at, whenever you like. Uh, private Facebook groups. I've also got. Um, sorry, multitasking. I like that star. Let's whack that up here. Um, and I've also released some new kits online as well. I have a, a range of kits that I have created that are not complicated. They're lovely and simple, designed for everybody. Card making kits, scrapbooking kits. Um, there's also some mini albums as avail available as well. Uh, you can... You know, lots of lots of stuff for everybody's. Um, but as you can see, I'm just adding a few of these little bits around my page. Oh, and I'm really sorry that that's pixelated on the screen. I don't know what's going on today. It's a bit crappy in here. Um, and I'm going to stick one more last love heart just down in here for balance, maybe. Maybe baby, maybe baby, no I'm not. Stick a star in there. All right, so I'm gonna add a little journaling. Journaling is important. This layout is absolutely worthless without a bit of journaling. So I'll add that on, photograph it and upload it uh, with links to the products that I have used. So just to recap, I've used a marshmallow cardstock in the background. I then used the Lindy's Gang sprays in Pineapple Paradise, Hibiscus Rose and Caribbean Blue, as well as a Blazing Black. So the Flat Fabios, which are the ones without the shimmer. So you'll find those online under Lindy's. Uh, I, we sprayed using, whoops, nearly dropped it. We sprayed using the 
Stencil Girl building stencil in the background. And then I stamped using, I want to say that's called the Scribble Scratch stencil um, as well. And I can't even, it's designed by Carolyn Doobie, um, goddess of the gel press. Um, but yeah, I think that um, there, that's the one that we stamped with using the yellow. And then I use the, the fractured lines here to also stamp in the blue around my page before adding a couple of blueprint sketch and peacock feather stamps and a few splatters with the co uh, legendary alphabet. So um, I'm actually gonna go over this with my Stabilo pencil and just make this a little bit darker and give it a bit more depth because this title is a little on the light side for me so there's no reason why I can't change it um, but I hope you all have a fantastic day um, I'll put a lovely clear photo up on Facebook shortly uh, with the, like I said with the links uh, jump online nataliemay.com.au and I look forward to seeing you all soon bye <laughs>